So why is it good for a pastor to have a sabbatical? I think there's three reasons that it's good for a pastor to have a sabbatical. One is that it's in the Ten Commandments. That's one of the basic um, rules that God set out for uh, for humanity. Not that pastors should have a sabbatical specifically, but that Sabbath is really important. That's that weekly, one day a week, rest and break from work and responsibilities. Uh, our creator in, in, in her wisdom said, humans are not meant to work endlessly and relentlessly. And so this is an extension of that. This is a, an opportunity for me to refresh and to renew uh, my spirit. So it's, it's a good opportunity for me after 12 years of being a pastor to be able to step away. The second reason uh, I think it's really good for a pastor to have a sabbatical is that uh, it's actually really good for the congregation. When one thing stops, something new can arise. That's the basic basis of, of resurrection. Now, the third reason that I think it's good for a pastor to have a sabbatical is actually pictured right here behind my shoulder. One of the, uh, the realities of being a pastor is that if you have a family, um, your family often takes uh, a back burner or a back seat when there is a pastoral emergency. Uh, and it's certainly something we all know as pastors that we will face. And it's an honor to walk with people in their hard times and their easy times. But I'm very much looking forward to this opportunity to really focus on my kids. A lot of my sabbatical is just going to be uh, being at home with them, volunteering at their school, uh, being a part uh, of their lives in ways that I just can't uh, as a, as a full-time pastor. So those are just three reasons that I think it's good for a pastor to have a sabbatical. Um, I look forward to all of the growth and the love that will come from this uh, in, in my own heart, in my family, but then also here at Prince of Peace. Peace be with you all.